I want to take just a few moments to describe the Jewish worldview at the time of Jesus. Something was clearly wrong. They were still under foreign dom domination. N.T. Wright says that they believed they were still in exile. The Holy Scriptures seemed to end as a story without a conclusion. The question for them was, what must we do to end the exile? One group saw that the key was to conservatively keep Torah. Another see, saw the need to intensify Torah. And others believe in taking matters into their own hands. Each stole, told the story differently. Each offered their program as the true ending of the story. And each understood that by their actions, God would come to vindicate Israel. Layered underneath this was the story of Israel's rescue by Yahweh because of her destiny as the people for the world. And so they were, they were driven ultimately by eschatology, uh, that this is ultimately where the world was headed. And so we're going to add a third element to the Jewish worldview. We've already looked at the fact they believed in one God, monotheism, Number two, that they were elected as the people of God for the sake of the world. And now we're going to add a third leg to the stool, and that is eschatology. Eschaton is the word for, that means end. So they believe that they were the key to the end of the world. They also believe that a Messiah was going to come. There, there wasn't great consensus on the doctrine of the Messiah, but there was a popular belief that a son of David was going to come, and the idea was that he would break the power of Rome. There was no expectation that the Messiah would have to suffer and die. A crucified Messiah, of course, is a contradiction in terms. So it's obvious now that, that this is the milieu out of which the New Testament will stem. 